Hey folks, AJ the CEO here and I just want to take a quick second to show you what the plans are going to be for the ATEM Mini here in the chapel part of our church. So let's go upstairs. Hey folks, this is AJ the CEO. If this is your first time stopping by the channel. Thanks for stopping by and on this channel. We focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So this is the chapel where I did a new sound system in earlier this year and stuff like that. So over here, I am upstairs in... <laughs> what was the original media booth, uh, which was pretty much just this corner over here. And this is where we redid the sound. Let me squeeze in here. All these extra cables up here. Anyway, where we redid the sound over here. And I've been moving some stuff over that we don't use, like this other monitor is gonna be over here. And um, we got the new sound, and we got the new speakers, and we got the 4K TV down there. So I still have all the cabling here that I pulled for running the speakers everywhere. So the idea is going to be, is in this setup, is to either have the ATEM Mini over here. We're only going to have one camera in here, and that's that um, Sony um, CX. 330 that you've been seeing me use as an overhead camera. I'm gonna put that over here somewhere over here um, Really not I mean and I honestly what I'd like to do is mount it But we don't really have anything for a remote control right now So it'll probably just be on a tripod that somebody pulls out That's gonna be connected over HDMI here We have another computer that's over there that I'm gonna move over here just to be able to run um, we're not going to buy a site license, so I will probably put Worship Extreme over here so that way we can play, um, do play audio, do scripture, lyrics, whatever over here. Presentations, CDs, DVDs, blah, 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 whatever will be over here. I will route all that sound into our um, switcher here. I mean, our switcher, our soundboard here. And what I'm going to do is, because people have been asking how far the output can run um, with HDMI, honestly, I've only been able to do it for 20 feet, but that's with a regular cable. I haven't used one of these fiber optic HDMI cables and all this other stuff. Honestly, I think that's overpriced. What I'm actually going to use is what I've been using before. Well, two ways. It all depends. Um, either I'm going to go SDI and run an SDI cable in here and then have... Uh, HDMI to SDI converter and then I'll run it all the way down to the TV over here and then have a jack put on the wall or on the floor come up through the pulpit or something like that and then have another SDI come out and then um, velcro to the back of the TV a SDI to HDMI converter and connect it that way. Now, if that doesn't work, um, what I'll probably do is just use an HDMI extender to do literally the exact same thing. It will be the extender here that will go from HDMI out from the A10 Mini into that extender. I'm gonna run a ethernet cable, and I'm gonna have, I probably will do ethernet now that I think about it because I meant to run um, a network connection up here when I was doing all this and I didn't. So I probably will do um, Ethernet. I'll probably pull four um, Ethernet cables in here so I can have internet and probably put a switch or something up here um, for internet if we ever decide to live stream up here as well as for the A10 Mini. And on that other side, I'll put a jack there on the floor and put on the other side a the converter that goes from Ethernet back to HDMI. That way we can broadcast on that TV down there, put lyrics and scripture, and it sets us in the future, because me personally, I would love to put like maybe two more TVs in here, or maybe even a projector, a short throw projector or something like that. But that's the plans of what the A10 Mini is gonna be over here in our chapel. Uh, and again, even if it's not used a lot, 
at least it will give us the functionality that's in here. And I think that's similar to what a lot of churches who are just now starting to get into live streaming are gonna do. So even though mainly this is rented out, our learning center uses this a lot for um, graduations and stuff. And we've had so many times people have asked for recording, live streaming or something like that. And that ATEM Mini allows us to do that for $300 and then with the converters and mainly my sweat. <laughs> with pulling cables in here you're talking about getting away with doing all the stuff or just an additional i would say four hundred dollars because i need a tripod the converter and just the a10 mini so that's about it i will bring y'all along when i actually do the install but that's really it um so maybe this will give you some ideas um again our chapel is not that big so you don't need to have a massive church for this and just based on the layout that i have there's no reason for me to pull put a full um a10 television studio in here because it's not going to be used that much and as of right now, there's no need for us to have multiple cameras. The only thing we're gonna have is one camera and then the output from the computer going in, which in that same computer is gonna be capable of live streaming this as well because it doesn't need a capture card. So anyway, stand by for that. I will leave the list of parts of, that I would use for this when I actually do this here in the description. And make sure you hit me up in the comments if you need any other help or any other questions you have with the A10 Mini or how to install it. I've had a bunch of people reach out and hopefully I've got some answers for them to help them out with that. But anyway, this is AJ. If you like this type of content, I appreciate a like, consider subscribing and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. We'll we'll check we'll catch you on the next video later.